Uh, Richard, I'm delighted to tell you that the, the, the main contractor for the footprint project, Building Works, on Bath Abbey will be Emery Brothers of Bath. Uh, I'm particularly pleased that they're, that they're here, a local company, and they've won the competition uh, for this work after a European-wide uh, competition. So we've had tenders from all over the place who have come in and uh, Emery's have won. Uh, they, of course, were in on the, the trial excavation of a couple of years ago, they so they, they certainly know what they're facing. Yes, they were, and that's been obviously an advantage to them, so they've been able to assess the risks more easily than people who had, haven't had the experience. Um, and I'm, del I'm pleased that. So, so, for instance, the site manager uh, doing the work within the Abbey is someone who actually worked on the 2013 floor trials. So some local employment there? A very definitely local employment, yes, and we're delighted about that. Not just from the main contractor, uh, Emery Brothers, but also their two main subcontractors who they've announced. Their mechanical and electrical uh, subcontractors are Wheelers of Westbury, and the uh, conservation contractor doing the stonework, lots of the stonework, particularly repairing the ledger stones, will be uh, Strachey's SSH uh, from uh, near Wells. And I'm very, very pleased to have Sally Strachey's team. Again, some people who've worked on the Abbey before and who, uh, a lot of them actually are uh, graduates from uh, Bath College. They've, uh, they've, they've learned their, their stone masonry uh, locally here. So again, good people and we're delighted to have them on board. Where will work start? Work will start on the, uh, on the east end inside the Abbey. The first thing you'll see is hoardings going up around the Abbey along the north side of the Abbey from the Rebecca Fountain past the north transept and round to where the taxi rank has been moved by the council uh, and then also to the south of the Abbey, um, particularly enclosing the, the area to the southeast of the Abbey uh, and around to, to, to Abbey Chambers. You, of course, are a, a living, working church. How mm. disruptive uh, is all of this going to be to the day-to-day -day business? Uh, day to day, the, the church will operate as as normal. Uh, we have no intention of shutting the church, as has happened at various cathedrals when they've done their floors. We have a lot of visitors who we uh, we uh, we welcome, and, and also our, our congregations. Quite obviously, uh, we could have shut the shut the, the building and uh, done as they did in Manchester and put a pop up cathedral outside. Uh, but we have no intention of doing so, and so we'll be phasing the work. Four main phases inside the abbey, starting at the east end, then carrying on. Uh, through the remainder of the building and the place will, will stay in operation throughout. The pews in the nave will not be put back into place. It's been a, a, a long battle in a way but mm. uh, it's now been decided the pews will go. Mm. Have we decided yet how they're going to go? What's going to happen to them? Mm. Yes, the, pew, the pews which all, all the furnishings need to come out of the building so we can repair the floor below, below and the higher quality hand carved uh, uh, furniture at the east end of the building uh, will go back in at the end of the project. The pews in the nave and the side aisles uh, we are proposing to sell uh, and they will be on, on sale. If anyone is interested please get in touch with us and uh, they'll, they'll be very welcome. We have a list already of quite a number of people who would like to buy uh, pews. Uh, we haven't decided on price yet uh, but we're taking an taking example from other, other similar uh, buildings, places like Wakefield Cathedral and uh, they were probably on, on, on sale uh, at the very beginning of next year, but um, not, yet, not yet decided. Uh, talking about money, um, mm. it's my understanding that you've had to make certain uh, economies. Yes. I, I heard there was a, a proposal to have a pneumatic rising mm. uh, altar dais mm. Uh, mm. in the nave. Um, that's been shelved. Yes, we were looking to, to follow the example of Lichfield Cathedral and Manchester Cathedral, both of whom have a hydraulically raising dais, uh, so that at the press of a button you could have a dais there for when you, when you want services and concerts led from the crossing. However, we realised that however clever we were in optimising the size of the dais, it would never be op the optimum for all uses. So in the end we have decided to, to stick with a movable dais, probably a new one, probably elliptical, uh, and we'll buy that so that so that we can use it as and when we like uh, in the future of the church. I did notice a stack of new chairs uh, in the Abbey. Uh, are these the chairs that are going to replace the pews? These are the design of chair we're plan planning to use. The exact colour of the, of the chairs which we will use 
we haven't yet decided. So this is the design. We're very pleased with the design. This is a design which won the church chair competition three, three or four years ago. And they, we, we think they're comfortable. Um, they are flexible as they stack, stack, and so easily movable. And they're relatively lightweight, beautiful wooden chairs, and so uh, that's that's the design. Yep. Charles, you've put an awful lot of time into this project, but am I hearing you're you're not going to be there to see it through? That you're going to step aside? I'm planning to step down myself uh, uh, at the end of July uh, uh, to a, from a full-time role to a part-time consultancy basis, and there will be a a relief coming in in, uh, uh, in, in that sort of time scale. Um, uh, how much time I spend in the future will depend uh, on what my relief wants, to be honest. So I'm, my, my brain is there for what it's worth. At this point in time, though, you must be a, a happy man. It's actually going to happen. We're delighted. We're delighted. We have, a, we have worked with many outside partners to get, to get us this far. It has taken a long time and a lot of effort to get here. We've got a great team working on the project. A, a team of consultants, a team of team of of, uh, of, of contractors, and uh, and the in-house team as well. And uh, this program is running. It's funded. It's going. And I'm very excited. Absolutely delighted.